In this One Piece Chapter 1079 spoiler, we finally find out what happened to Law and Kid. In Chapter 1063 Law faced off against the Blackbeard Pirates. The continuation of their battle was not shown because Oda focused more on Luffy's adventure on Egghead Island. Just like Trafalgar Law, Eustace Kid also faced one of the four emperors. And in Chapter 1079, we can see the battle between Shanks and Kid. And in this video, I will discuss the results of the battle of these two supernovas. Without further ado, let's get started. Before finding out the outcome of their battle, let's first look at the difference in power. In Hard Pirates, Law is the only one who has the power of the Devil Fruit, while in Blackbeard Pirates, almost all of his members have the power of the Devil Fruit. Blackbeard wields the powers of Yami Yami Nomi and Gura Gura Nomi at the same time. With the power of the Yami Yami Nomi, which reduces anything to nothingness, and the power of the Gura Gura Nomi, which brings destruction to everything, Blackbeard claimed himself to be truly invincible and the strongest of them all. In Heart Pirates, the ones who stand out besides the captain are Beppo and Penguin. If the battle takes place at night and there is a moon, maybe Beppo can use his Sulong form. But still it won't be able to defeat the Blackbeard Pirates. In Wano, Beppo and Penguin lost to Hawkins who is one of the supernovas, so it is certain that the Heart Pirates will not be able to win against the Blackbeard Pirates. Their overall level of strength is very far away. In Wano, Law was able to defeat Big Mom due to the help of Eustace Kid after they both awakened the power of the Devil Fruit. On Winter Island, Law had to fight Blackbeard and his entire crew. This is also confirmed in the spoilers of One Piece Chapter 1079, where the Blackbeard Pirates are now in the Egghead Island territory. Likewise, Eustace Kid will now face Shanks and Elbov. The only ones who look strong in Kid Pirates are Kid and Killer. The rest we haven't seen their true strength. Meanwhile, in the red-haired pirates, almost all members have equal strength. This was confirmed by Branu when announcing the Yonko bounties. Currently, Shanks is the Yonko who has the highest bounty value. In addition, it is known that Shanks mastered advanced hockey. Kid had previously faced the red-haired pirates. At that time, Kid did not meet Shanks directly. As a result of his battle against the red-haired pirates, Kid had to lose his left arm. Killer himself once said that Kid would lose everything if this time he met Shanks. And that was proven. In the spoilers of One Piece Chapter 1079, it self-claims that Eustace Kid lost with just one slash of Shanks' sword. Shanks used the same technique when Roger first met Odin. This proves that the level of strength of Shanks and Kid is very far. The fact about what will happen to Trafalgar Law and Eustace Kid has been predictable since the first time they met the two Yonko. But there are some fans who feel that Eustace Kid and Trafalgar Law can match the power of Blackbeard and Shanks, especially since they can awaken the power of the Devil Fruit. Apart from Trafalgar Law and Eustace Kid, who have awakened the power of the Devil Fruit, the level of strength of the two of them is arguably far below the two Yonko. In fact, the Yonko title can also be strong evidence of their power level comparison. This is the reason why some fans believe that Law and Kid will be easily defeated by Blackbeard and Shanks. So come. 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 